Hello, and welcome to our Market Alert video for today, which is November 17, 2023. I hope you are well. I am Ken Murray. I'm the founder and CEO of Retirement Planners of America. And our singular goal, we think, is a very noble one. Our purpose is to create as many squippers as we possibly can. And of course, a, a, squipper, a squipper is the acronym for second childhood without parental supervision. So when a client of ours retires, we call them a squipper. And we want them to go out there and start squippering. <laughs> our website is rpoa.com if you'd like to check us out and maybe become a squipper yourself. Um, last week was a very interesting one. Uh, we got the inflation data regarding what happened in October. And uh, it came in better, lower, inflation slowed down, and that was a surprise to most people, including us. And I can tell you that it has been really fun being right practically every single month when it comes to inflation this year. And so when that happened, I thought, man, so that's what it feels like to, to, to make a mistake. Hmm, don't like that. Anyway, the inflation number came in uh, minus 0.04% month on month. That was very well received, good news. The Fed uh, most likely then doesn't need to raise interest rates anymore. Inflation's now coming down and all is well. So I wanna share with you my screen here to just show you where we think we go from here, what the different scenarios are given that dynamic and uh, will we be heading into a really big bad recession or is it gonna be the soft landing that people are asking for or hoping for? So let me share my screen with you and let's, uh, let's dive into that. So this chart right here is a chart that I uh, uh, think is very interesting because it, it helps to understand how, we, uh, how inflation is calculated. So over here, this right here is the date, so it shows you by month. Uh, this is the CPI level. This is the change from month to month. And if you take that and annualize it, it would be this column here. And then this is the change year on year. So the way that they calculate inflation is they look at what was inflation in October of last year? What was the month to month change? Well, it increased by 0.41%, as you can see here. However, in October of this year, it reduced by 0.04%. So what they do is they drop this 0.41 off and they add on the minus 0.04. Well, if you do the math on that, it's almost half a percent, which is why inflation went down from 3.7 down to 3.2%. So that was well received and uh, that was, that's a good thing. So overall, that looks like the trend in inflation is, uh, is, is uh, going downward. And what you can see here in this chart is how inflation has come down. As we told you in previous uh, videos, uh, we thought inflation would uh, bottom here at 3% in June, which is exactly what it did. And now we think it'll go back up to around 4% in December, which may or may not be well received by the market. But after that, we think it could come down. So Let's look at what does the uh, Federal Reserve want to accomplish. Well, they would like it if interest rates were 2% at the end of next year. So we calculated what would have to happen for that 2% to actually occur. Well, if we put in a 0.17% inflation rate for the next, um, what is that, 12, 14 months, then what would happen is we would reach that 2% that the Fed wants. Why? Well, because when it's pink over here, what you can see is that you know, January had 0.17 is less than January of last year at 0.8. So we'll be dropping off the 0.8 and adding a 0.17. So that brings inflation down, 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 down for all of these months. However, as you can see here is that even at this rate of inflation in November and December, it's not pink. Why? And inflation will go up in our view up to the 4% that we think it'll be at the end of this year. Why? Because it's a pretty hard beat. In November of next of last year, inflation dropped by 0.1 per, uh, a tenth of a percent. And so if inflation doesn't do that, then, if, then the inflation goes up because it's higher than it was last year. And look at this one over here in, in December last year, inflation dropped by a third of a percent almost. That's a hard beat this year as well. So for these two months right here, we think the inflation, the headline inflation rate will be higher 
and it'll peak out around 4%. Now, this is the scenario that the Fed wants, right? This is a 2% inflation rate by next December, and that would be a really nice soft landing, no big bad recession, no terrible thing like that. Now, let's look at a different scenario, and let's look at what would happen if the inflation rate continued at the rate that we just saw. In other words, it's 0.04% every month going on until the, the end of next year. Uh, then we still have these two months, which will be higher than over here. So the inflation rate will still go up from where it is here into December, and you can see peak out right here in December. But here's the problem. If inflation does in fact go down that rapidly, what you can see over here in uh, August, September, October, November, December of next year, is we actually will have disinflation if that were to happen. We'd start to see the inflation rate go negative. And that is a really, really bad thing. It's even worse than inflation. So in that scenario, the Fed will have to lower interest rates pretty dramatically to make that happen. In that scenario, because inflation has come down so fast, we probably have a really big, bad um, recession happening. And uh, this is what a lot of people are projecting, that in August of next year, the Fed is going to be lowering interest rates. And the reason why is because of this scenario that I'm showing you here. Now, we don't see this, but the important thing to know is that if it does, it, there is the possibility that this could happen. We don't see it, but it could happen. Um, the wars that are going on around the world, uh, you know, the inflation uh, that we are experiencing finally takes its toll on the consumer. Uh, the, the Federal Reserve over raised interest rates and we have a terrible recession like what this shows. And all of those things combine to give us a really big, bad bear market. So if that were to be the case, that is why we think that you should always have a plan to address what happens if we do get what's not expected, which is a big, bad recession, a big, bad bear market. And in that scenario, our invest and protect strategy is why we have that. We believe that if you are over 50, you should have a plan to address your uh, to address bear markets. Inflation, the stock market generally does well during inflationary times. We've seen that. So there is a tool that you can use to fight inflation with in our view. However, bear markets, when the market's going way down, that's pretty tough. And that's why we think you should have a strategy to get out of the market and protect yourself. Now, our strategy said to sell in November of 2007, before the credit crisis, the big stock market crash of 2008. It also said to sell in 2022 in April, and the market went down significantly after that. And that's why our strategy is there, to protect against big downs, because those we think are very detrimental to the financial health of our clients. So what's our forecast? We don't think that big bad recession that I just illustrated there is coming. We actually think that it's, it's possible, uh, uh, more than likely in our view, that uh, we don't have a bad recession, we have a mild one, the stock market should be happy with that. Uh, interest rates may come down somewhat, but maybe towards the second, the, the third quarter of next year. And uh, all of that is a Goldilocks scenario, not too hot, not too cold. And if that's the case, then bonds should do well in that environment and stocks. Now, currently we are in our stock uh, allocations, but we have not gone back into our bonds yet. We've been out since last April. And by the way, uh, the biggest, baddest bear market in bonds maybe in history and uh, so having a sell strategy there was not a bad idea either. And uh, for us to get out and protect against that, we think was, uh, was a very good move for our clients and hopefully uh, those of you who follow us. Now, uh, we are considering going back into bonds. We have not made that decision at this point. We want to wait until the Fed comes out in December on the 13th to tell us what they're going to do with interest rates, what their view is. At that point, we'll be making that decision. So um, if you are interested in having one of our retirement planners work with you and build a plan with that invest and protect strategy in it and uh, taking advantage of opportunity when it's available, protecting against the downside, then I encourage you to go to our website and uh, avail yourself of all of our resources, not the least of which is to visit with a retirement planner at no charge or obligation. All right. So thanks for watching this video and we will talk soon.